Hey Quakers, and welcome to another episode of The Quake Grave. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. It's still Quake, but it's not. You guys know we cover all kinds of cool Quake stuff. We cover maps, mods, the recent Quake remaster that came out. Um, but today we're going to be covering Quake in a completely different fashion. This is the JS13K game competition. You know, it's like a yearly, it's a yearly game jam that they have here where Everybody who participates gets 30 days to create a, uh, a game uh, that has to come in at 13 kilobytes or lower, I suppose. Uh, and they have to do it in JavaScript, which to me is like crazy considering some of the games that they have here. Um, so this has been, as I said, like this is an annual competition that they've been doing for several years here. You can see almost 10 years. And this year, somebody decided to make a Quake-based uh, JavaScript, 13K JavaScript game uh, that works in your browser. Uh, so what this features is uh, two levels, five types of enemies, three different weapons, 30 different textures, and music and sound, of course. Um, I checked out a bit of this already, but I figured, you know what? This is going to be really cool to show on the show. Uh, shout out to Dump Truck who, for uh, showing me this because I thought it was super cool. And I told him, I was like, I'm totally going to show this on the show because, man, this is super cool. Uh, but we're going to jump in right now. And if you guys decide you want to check this out as well, I will have a link to this in the description below or in the comments somewhere. Just look below. You will find a link to check it out. But look at that. Q1K3. Check out the cool quake symbol there. All right. Click, click to start. Let's jump in, shall we? Here we are. Actually, I am going to widen the browser a bit. There we go. Get rid of that scroll bar. Okay. Here we are. There we go. Okay. Want to make sure I can see everything. So, as you can see, we are actually in E1 M1. You know, obviously a very much like uh <laughs> demake version of it. Who who would have thought Quake 1 could be demade even more, right? But here we are. Um I'm very impressed with what they did here. They even have like a little secret area there. So there there are no secrets in this. Um you know, uh, the only thing you're collecting is health and ammo, but there are different ammo crates for different weapons, which you do get in the, uh, you do get uh, different weapon pickups and stuff in the game, which is super cool. No elevator. Obviously that is a mechanic that they could not work out in 13K, I guess. But look, they, they have a low poly dog or creature character, which is pretty cool. Let me get some health pickups over here. Explodable barrel still works. The thing that I'm impressed with most, uh, not even so much that this is in 13K, you know, it's like, like an Atari version of Quake, which is always awesome, but I am very impressed that this was all done in JavaScript. I, I know JavaScript is a very powerful language, but I'm, I'm wondering, like, was this all just programmed in JavaScript and then, like, exported? you know, and compiled like in a web browser? Was there a separate like, like I, I know for example, like an engine like Godot, you can actually use JavaScript in it, I believe, right? Or I think you could use JavaScript in Unity, is that right? So that's what I'm wondering is like, is that allowed? Can you use JavaScript for that? Uh, again, no elevator here. Oh, we got this guy, but there is something cool in this room. Look at that, the nail gun. It's here. Love it. And it functions really well, too. Take this guy out. Oh! Blew it up too late. What's down here? Nothing. So nothing in the little watery areas, I guess. I guess I didn't check back at the front under the bridge, did I? down here oh no nothing just stairs okay i was gonna say maybe that's maybe that's a little alcove we can explore but it's not all right we're gonna continue on here whoa okay let's get over here we'll take him out oh there's a thing to climb up there we will get back to that in just a second Oh. 
jumping and everything in this feels really good. You know, this is this is just a really, really well made. You know, you guys ever play levels that people remake from other levels? You know, like sometimes you'll see authors who have cr tried to create Doom levels in Quake or Quake levels in Doom or, you know, whatever it is like Super Mario. Oh, dog. Uh, you know, Super Mario uh, 1 1 in wh whatever game it is, you know, um, some more pickups here. And, you know, it, it, you're like, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of that, but this is totally that. I mean, this, oh, I fell in. Luckily, there's no, <laughs> no actual swimming mechanics or anything. Um, this definitely feels like E1M1, though. Like, this is crazy how much it feels like it and looks like it. And it actually plays pretty well like Quake. Some of those other levels you'll play where people are trying to remake, you know, uh, levels from other games, I, I feel like they are just, like, not even close, you know what I mean? So... Oh, yeah. Look at this! Nice! Oh, we took that guy out quick, so there's gonna be one here, yep. Got him. Alright, so we go in here... So this is E E one M three, right? I, I I sometimes I forget the I forget all the map numbers and names. But I used to play this one on multiplayer a lot. Okay, mouse wheel changes your weapon in case you're curious. I grab this stuff here. No shortage of ammo in this level, that's for sure. I think the only thing that could have made this even cooler... Oh, there's an ammo box you can't pick up. It's stuck in the wall there. The only thing that would be cooler about this is if... Uh, um, oh, God, they did put the zombies. I didn't realize the enemies at the front there were actually zombies. That's really cool. Okay, we need to go back up here. More ammo. Okay, there it is. There's our nail gun. Right there. Nice. Oh, we do have enemies. I lost my train of thought. I was saying something about something, and then my I, I got completely distracted by what was happening here. Oh, look, we got zombies down here waiting. Let's see, can we peg them? Yes! Oh, the bounce! You guys saw it. That was awesome. Alright, we'll grab some pickups here. Drop down. Hey, zombie. Oh, I should see if you can kill them with other weapons. See if they actually added that functionality in. Got the key. This is a really, really well-made, like, small 13K web browser game like this is much more than I would have expected from you know just a, a fun like 30 day game jam thing I could potentially see someone branching out like making all their own unique levels like not quake based and, and making like a full fledged actual game out of it and it being really fun because I'm having a lot of fun just playing it the way it is now I know right now you know D makes are all the rage Oh, stay away from the grenade. Wow, the ogres eat up a lot of, a lot of nails. But luckily we got a lot of nails. Oh, dude, that guy was just like shooting me right in the face. I think that's, okay, yeah, we got everybody. But yeah, I, kn I know that, uh, you know, throwback FPSs, FPS D makes, that kind of thing, like, you know, old retro style FPS. I, I know that all this stuff is all the rage right now. Um, but I could see this one doing pretty well, to be quite honest. It's it's super cool. It's easy um, to to grasp, especially if you played Quake before. But even if not, I think it's easy to grasp. Um, it's it's actually in its own way like kind of pretty. <laughs> it's got a cool color scheme, you know. Um, yeah, I, and if the they kept kept the levels short like they're doing here, like kept to that whole process, like I could see like 
really getting into a game like this for sure. Oh, that's the end. Just the two levels there. Yeah, this is great. I can't believe this exists. Like I said, guys, uh, if you want to check this out yourself, play a little bit yourself. As you can see, it uh, takes maybe 10 minutes to play through. Probably shorter. You guys could probably speed run through this if you wanted to. Uh, but I'll put the link below for you to ch uh, check it out. But that was really cool. I can't believe somebody was able to make that. Make a 13K, you know, quick experience that you can play in your web browser at any point. Would be interested to hear more about the process of developing something like that. But either way, guys, thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you all next time.